Hello, my name is Dan Grant, Haldex Tech Service Rep from Haldex Corporation. For this presentation, we're going to discuss the methods and practices of a Saba automatic brake adjuster. Now we're going to discuss a little bit some trailer brake maintenance that should be performed on all vehicles. Uh, just because a brake adjuster is set up and it's working correctly, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't maintain the foundation brake on your trailer tractor position. Here we're taking a look at camshaft bushing clearance and it's usually measured by hand. You never use a pry bar or any other source of leverage to try and move the uh, camshaft up or down to see if the bushings are worn or not. Per the CVSA guidelines, it is also said that you need to check the amount of friction material. And per the CVSA requirement, it says no more than one quarter of an inch, and it's measured at the center of each shoe, both the top and bottom. It has to be above a quarter of an inch. Now you always have to always take a look. Uh, again, the, all these inspections are done without removing any hardware. And you want to always make sure that your camshaft rollers are intact and all your return springs and retaining springs are uh, attached and not broken. And next, the other thing you need to check is that your arm length is in the correct, pos or your actuator is in the correct position at for your uh, brake adjuster arm length. And in this example, you'll see the ABA is six inches long, and it's measured from the center of the camshaft to the center of the clevis pin. And the picture over on the right will show you that that's a uh, six inch arm, and as you look at the bracket, it requires you to hook up to the two lower hose, holes. And you can see that the ground is facing down. So that's the correct position. For more information, please contact haldex.com.